welcome back. As always, my name is Oz. Today we are continuing the playthrough of Danganronpa on Trigger Happy Havoc. So in the last episode... Oh, it's been a while. Um, oh, Monokuma gave us a new motive. Uh, something about our deepest, deepest, darkest secrets being revealed. And how no one wants to reveal them, even though it would be so much easier. And less dangerous to just tell everyone. And I think Makoto's was something stupid like, he peed the bed until he was 10 years old. whoop de doo But yeah, let's jump in and see what's happening, because I think we left the last one on a cliffhanger where a tragedy was already happening. Good morning! Monokuma, what are you doing in my room? Ah! <laughs> nice reaction! I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint! What are you doing here? Yep. I wanted to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. Did you wake everyone up in this fashion, Monokuma? What the hell for? <laughs> because it's fun! Hmm. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? <laughs> are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean... Even though something happened to one of your buddy-buddy classmates? What? Say what? What, what, what? what? Your face is all blue like someone on the verge of death. What? What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. Good luck. I don't think that was Monokuma's voice, but whatever. Something happened to someone. Is it? Was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would. But what if? No what ifs are pointless, especially now when the dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. We run. There's hardly anyone here. Ah, ah Mikado! Uh, um... are, are you okay? Hey. Did Monokuma talk to you too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and. Byakia. Ugh. Byakia. You were the only ones here? Where's everyone else? Hmm. Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said, or they've fallen victim to something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder. After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Uh, um. So, if something really did happen, that beat someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? It can't be! That stuff was just a bunch of old memories! <laughs> just old memories. Don't be so sure about that. Clearly, someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? <laughs> to judge someone's values based on your own outlook, do you realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? Why didn't you just say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. What good does it... Nope. What good does it do for me to go out of my way to help you? Just the worst. Stop saying that already. Uh, um... There's something wrong with him. For serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. The game is afoot. He is a scumbag. Um, let's check the back of the house. Let's see the back of the house. Do -do 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 -do. Anything I'm missing here? Um, let's see. Nothing in the pool area. Anyone cooking alive in the sauna? No. Alrighty. I'm guessing I still can't go in here, right? Well, I'll check the boys' bathroom. 
Nah, there's nothing in here. Yep. Okay. Ah. Uh, what's over here? Classroom? Let's check in here. Anyone in this classroom? There's no one in his classroom. Um. Library? Ooh, sorry, a camera. Let's check the library. Uh, Byakia, how did you get up here? Hello? You got up here fast, Byakia. No, 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 no. Back it up, back it up. What do you have to say, Byakia? I don't like you, but what do you have to say? There's nothing of interest here, don't you agree? You should go look somewhere else. Fine. You just want the library out of yourself. Hey, there's nothing worthwhile over there. I've already checked, so there can be no Let's walk right past the pool. Yeah, here it is. I still can't go in the girls. It might be in there, actually. Mm, I guess we'll just go through here to get to the bo the the pool through the boys' locker room, because I am a boy after all. The door is open, but aren't these supposed to be locked? What? For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. Investigation? It's all clear now. Just as I thought. Bakia! I see. Judging from what he just said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. Why you got such a smug look on your face, Biakia? Come on! And the locker rooms. They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Suspicious? <laughs> it seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. He was muttering as if talking only to himself. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girl locker room door. And the door swung open without a sound. Oh, it's in the girls. Okay. It's a girl. A girl is dead again. Okay. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. Oh no! What? I don't know how long it could, took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at. But as soon as I did... Ah! A wild, almost primeval scream escaped from my mouth. Oh no! Um... Chihiro! Deadly life. Oh dear. We have found the body. I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. I surged, it surged out of me like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. Yakia, on the other hand. Very strange. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this all unfold from a TV screen. I see. Chihiro, it was Chihiro. Look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow. And something's been written on the wall in blood. Bloodlust? Hmm. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her. How could it not be brutal? Hmm. No, that's not my point. The murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed it. Unlike with Sayaka, this murderer was not a crime of passion or necessity. <laughs> it's almost as if whoever did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was still reeling, too confused to understand what was, he was really trying to say. Oh, not Chihiro. She was so sweet. And before I could even begin to clear my head. What the heck? Hey, I heard screaming! Did something! <laughs> Jihiro! A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, 
the class trial will begin. What the hell was that? What? Ah, that's right. You were unconscious during Sayaka, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently, when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine it's so. The search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? The body discovery announcement! The Jira really is! Naturally. Dead. Yes. Da -da -da -da. Before you start screaming your head off, go around everyone else. It seems another game has begun. Another life or death game to uncover a killer. Oh, poor Chihiro. Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time at all had passed. It was like my sense of time had just taken wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. We all just stood there, gathered around Chihiro's body. Damn. I couldn't keep her safe. So there's another victim. Mm. Which means we are now in the same position once again. Man. What the? What is this? What? It's a dream. It's a dream. It's all just a dream. <laughs> I haven't even been born yet. I don't have any memory of ever being alive. <sighs> Shut up. Okay. Um. Are we investigating? Just a sec. Hey. The word bloodlust is written on the wall of the left. So... I don't think it's any kind of dying message. It's just too... strange. But you know, that thing about writing bloodlust in blood, doesn't it sound kind of familiar? What? what? Genocide Jack! Genocide Jack, the murderous fiend whose grisly attacks were famous all across the country. The ultra, the ultimate murderous fiend, creating a reputation of abnormal, downright cruel killers. What is this? Then this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's style? But why would anyone do that? Hmm. Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. What? The real? What are you saying? Genocide Jack is here in the school? No way! There, there, there's no way! Hmm. But going so far as to write bloodlust at the scene, I am surprised at their stupidity. Well, I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. Ah! Wait! What is this now? Toko! Hina was pointing towards the entrance to the girls' locker room. Toko was the last to arrive, and now she was just standing there. Toko? I mean, she doesn't like the sight of blood, so that would make sense. No, 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 why? 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 And she fainted. Yep. She fainted. That did not sound good. Toko! Hina rushes over to the collapsed Toko and started trying to shake her awake. Oh! Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up! Oh. oh, that's right. I just remembered what she said about how she faints anytime she sees blood. Oh. So, she's hemophobic. I imagine she does not watch too many horror films then. Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up! As if she'd heard her, Toko suddenly shot awake. As in, she literally jumped up from where she was laying. It was such a strange reaction, I was at a total, total loss of words. She leapt straight up into the air, changing her stance as she did. What the? In no time flat, she was just standing up. Ignoring the physical contortions she had to go through, her emotions were totally haphazard. Huh? Huh? What? 
sorry about that. I was just so shocked, you know? It happens, right? Was I the only one? Toko, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Whoa, is that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? What the heck? She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. <laughs> wow. Red has a front and back, a top inning and bottom, a sea of truth, and a web of lies. Well, this is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. No, 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 everything's fine. At least the stutter's all gone. <laughs> That's a good thing, right? <laughs> I see. It's clear to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vacant. Mm. It might be best if we take her back to her room for the time being. So, um... I don't mind taking her, but could someone help me? Mm -hmm. If you need help, I don't mind. Um... Taka, could you help me? Huh? She totally ignored me. Hmm. Very well. You take care of the girl, and the rest of us can begin the investigation right away. Can I assume nobody has a problem leaving Sakura and Mondo on guard duty again? Hold on a second. Rushing into an investigation? Hm. The mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, surely you realize that. Don't make me repeat myself. There is no question that Chihiro was murdered by someone among us. Hm. Isn't that right, Monokuma? <laughs> Of course! Right as friend! But don't take it as a bad thing, it's just a fact of life. Because... Yahoo! That's how graduation works! And then, it's happened again. Is that what you're saying? That another one of us... Yes, she's obviously dead in front of you. Another one of us killed a fellow classmate? What? Does that freak you out? You guys got no balls, you know that. Is there nothing down there at all? Well, I'll let you pray to mine if you want. Yeah. Actually, I don't have any either. Sorry. Stop talking. Stop monologuing and give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it, right? I sure did, chum. It's the Monokuma file. Allow me to present the Monokuma know how much you must be looking forward to it. See ya later. So please do your very tip-top best on this investigation. No way. Do we really gotta do another investigation? Y yes. Examining the corpse of one of our friends. Having to suspect all of our other friends. Why? I hate this. I can't take it anymore. Oh, no! I hate it, too! Help me! I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. Hey! Where do you plan on going? There's nowhere to run. Such ignorance. Just accept it already. After all, blood is just a liquid. A dead body is a simple object. <laughs> you are very enthusiastic about all of this, are you not? Naturally. How could I not be? If we don't unmask the culprit, we all die. That's that's true, but to jump into it so soon. What? What? Do you want to die? Such ignorance. Fine. Go off and die somewhere. Right now. Go ahead. You're a waste of space. Damn you! A dead body is an object? Piece of shit! Shihiro wasn't an object. Show a little respect or I'll beat some into you. Calm down. Everyone, stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what Byakuya said. Kyoko! Because... If we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our own lives are forfeit. And if Byakuya is right that Genocide Jack is somehow the one who killed Chihiro... That's right. Then unless we do something, more victims could start piling up. What? Forget more victims! If we mess this up, we're all dead meat! Hey! Hey! Hold on, hold on! If that's your worry, you don't gotta worry any longer! In any one killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people! Huh? What? I don't remember that rule. Actually, I just came up with it. I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student 
life wouldn't would be all over, right? The new rule has been added to the regulation. So in that case, why not limit it to one person? Hey, um... Well, in a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. Yeah. <laughs> Just one would totally murder that possibility. Punishment is waiting for you. Farewell for now. I'll catch you guys at the class trial. Hmm. I can't say I understand his thinking, but if we can kill up to two people... Then one more person's life could be a danger. <laughs> Which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. You son of a bitch! You need to shut up! Uh, well, uh, well, for now, Taka and me are gonna drop Toko off at a room. Uh, nice! Uh, I'm gonna get dropped off! There is nothing to be done. We have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigation. Tut sweet. If we do not solve the mystery of who killed Chihiro, is that okay? then we will quickly follow her into the act. That's true. I hate this, but if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice. Investigation! First of all, I'd better check the Manakuma file. Yep. Alright. The victim was Chihiro Fukusaki. The time of death is estimated about 2 a.m. The body was discovered in the girls' locker room on the second floor of the school. The cause of death was a blow to the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. That's all it says. Well, it's not like there's any point in contemplating about it. No matter what, I gotta do what I gotta do. Alright, Monokuma file. Hmm. Hey, Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? Did you need something for me? Naturally. Of course. Life without purpose is quite dull, you know? So, what do you need? <laughs> I'm going to let you cooperate with me during my investigation. Huh? What? I'm purchasing your talent. The same talent which allowed you to solve Sayaka's case. Solve? No, I just... Stop talking. You seem to have some limited use, which is why I've chosen you. You have the honor of cont contributing to my investigation. So you're inviting me to come with you. You're doing it in the most arrogant way possible. Let's go. Now then, shall we get started? But we need to get moving. There's no time to be standing around. I don't really know what just happened, but it looks like I'll be working with Biakia on this one. All right. Uh, there's a dumbbell on the floor, and there's a blood stain. There's a blood stain on the dumbbell. Hmm. Yep. The Monokuma file said a blow to the head with a blunt object is what killed her. Does that mean this dumbbell is what actually killed her? That's right. I don't imagine it could have been anything else. That thing is heavy. One, two, three, four, five. It's got five of those weights on each side. If... So that's a 50 pound dumbbell, if I'm looking at that correctly, if those are all five pound weights. Whew. Locker room dumbbell has been added to the truth bullet. All right, there's blood on the floor here. There's a fresh blood stain on the carpet. It must have been splattered with blood during the murder. This, why do the girls have the same poster in here? The poster's got some blood on it. It must have happened during the murder. All right, bloodlust. The word bloodlust is written on the wall in blood. That's, what's the meaning behind it? Bloodlust. Let's look at her body, I guess. I can feel the life draining out of my own body. It's a dead body. Chihiro's dead body. Very strange. But the more I look, the more strange it all seems. This must be Genocide Jack's handiwork. Well, but... What? But we're still not sure he did it. Is that what you want to say? <laughs> I wonder about that. Hmm. Sakura. Ugh. I use this locker room all the time. Now it's become the site of Chiro's death. But why was she killed in the locker room? Actually, if you think about it, she could have been killed somewhere else and then carried here. Hmm. She was very light. That is true. I wouldn't... It wouldn't be hard for someone to carry her, but still. Well, I think she came here on her own by choice. What makes you say that? Hmm. She'd been talking a lot about how she wanted to get stronger. 
so you're saying she came here to exercise. But according to the Monokuma file, uh, apparently she was killed around 2 in the morning. Would she really have been exercising that late? Perhaps. Kino or myself were usually in the locker room during the day, so she was probably avoiding it then. Avoiding it? Mm. Although we invited her to join us more than once, she never showed up. So I can only assume she was trying to avoid us. And instead she came to exercise in the middle of the night? However... Perhaps, but it's difficult for me to imagine she could have come alone. She did want to start exercise, but she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it by herself. She needed support from others. So you're saying she could have come here in the middle of the night to train in secret, but that she also would have come with someone else. Hmm. It's a possibility, I think. Okay, Sakura's account. Uh, do we talk to Mondo too? Dude had a real complex about being weak. You heard Chihiro talk about it, right? All I need to do is get stronger. Yeah, I do remember she said that more than once. Yeah. Sure did. Which, I guess, explains the trip down here. But, but did she really need to get stronger that badly? You already mentioned it, but she was a girl after all. Most girls aren't that strong. Yeah. How dare you, Makoto. How dare you. I don't know, man. Haven't really thought about that stuff. The cause of Shiro's complex. I can't help wondering what it might be. <laughs> now I believe it's about time for us to move on. Huh? Already? What? New clues won't magically appear by standing around here. We need to check every aspect of this case. That's true, let's but... Let's go. If you're satisfied, let's hurry and proceed. So, pushy! I got caught up with the wrong person this time. So this is our next location. This is the place related to the investigation? Figure it out for yourself. It's no fun if you don't, right? Let's see. If I remember right, the card reader is meant to work with our handbooks, right? What? Do you have an issue with it? If so, you should take it up with Monokuma. He said that, then quickly and sharply clapped his hands together. Did you call for me? Call and he shall appear! Has he been domesticated? That's right. It seems that Makoto has a question for you. You need something? Share. Sure, what's up? Um, well, it's just about this card reader. Yep. Yes, the card readers have been designated to interface with each of your e-handbooks. You can only enter the locker room corresponding to the gender listed in your individual handbook. <laughs> and it's impossible for the two for two people in a row to go through while the door is unlocked, correct? Unbelievable. If there were some sort of erotic terrorist on the prowl, the ceiling-mounted Gatlin gun would initiate a, a Swiss cheese slaughter. <laughs> and the school regulations prohibit anyone from lending someone else their handbooks, correct? Of course. So then, that means only girls can go in the girls' locker room and boys can go in the boys' locker room. In other words, Chihiro's body being found in the girls' locker room means... Hey, Makoto, I can see right through you. See right through me? <laughs> Allow me to tell you what you're thinking. Since Chihiro was found in the girls' locker room, the killer must have been able to get in there. So, in other words... As such, the killer must be one of the girls. Did I get it right? Such ignorance. Good lord, you're simple. But am I wrong? Hmm. You should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answer has been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. <laughs> I would expect nothing less from the prodigal son of the noble Togami family! So you managed to sniff out the loophole in the regulations. Hmm. Knowing you, I would bet you created it on purpose, didn't you? To add a little more excitement to things. Yeah You're treating me like a puny little appetizer instead of the main course that I am. Now then, since the dead can't actually talk, they're not people anymore. They're things. Yep. Get it? Got it? Good. Wait, hold on. You're saying that's a loophole, but... In order to borrow something from someone, then that means someone would have to loan it, so, uh... Why, you! So sleepy! Just listening to you makes...
makes me want to pass out! Be more like Byakia and get your poop together! Unbelievable. Or else I'll charge you with criminal negligence! No more questions! Figure out the rest for your own self! That's fine. Well, I know you are unfortunately lacking in mental faculties, so I'll fill you in myself. Let's head to the main hall. The main hall? That'll help you understand what's going on. Okay. What are we doing here? Why did we come all the way here? So what are we looking for here? Does that mean I have to figure it out for myself? Okay. What is this? There's a mailbox here. Could there be something inside? It's... An e-handbook? No, wait. There's three of them. But what are they doing here? <laughs> so, you finally found them. Huh? Did you know these were here, Byakia? <laughs> I happened to find them by chance myself the other day. It seems there is a system in place where the handbooks of the dead students get delivered to this mailbox. So then these three handbooks belong to Junko, Leon, and Sayaka. <laughs> You can go ahead and confirm for yourself. I immediately turned one on, and it was... Sayaka, my Zono. Okay. You're right, this is Sayaka's handbook. <laughs> now do you understand? This is the key to the loophole that I revealed earlier. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get it. I see, yeah, now I understand. Main hall e handbooks. Okay. What? Hold on a second. What's wrong? Very strange. That's strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. Is it broken? Whose is it? The other handbook showed Junko's name when I started it up. Then the one that won't turn on must be Leon's, right? I see. It would make sense, yes. After all, he did get pummeled with dozens and dozens of baseballs. Pummeled with baseballs. The memory of it came flooding back. The cruel punishment which led to Leon's death. The execution that Mastermind concocted. A cruel, heartless death. Yeah, it was it was awful, huh? You're right. It wouldn't be surprising for the handbook to break during the kind of assault. Damn it! Hey, hey! Hey, 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 hey! No. Hey! What? Handbook is essential to student life here. Crucial, integral, instrumental, and super big deal. There's no way it would break that easily. But it did. That's impossible! If I say it wouldn't break, it wouldn't freaking break. It can withstand up to 10 tons of pressure, and it's waterproof up to 100 meters, okay? I don't care how many baseballs you hit it with, it wouldn't do crap. Oh, but, uh, even my amazing handbook does have one single weak point. It does? I can't hear you! But it's a secret! I wouldn't want you to go breaking any more handbooks! What? Then Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing its weakness was, right? Hmm. Hard to say! You know what I think? I think it's his handbook isn't actually broken! Well, what? But you may ask, how could that be? Leaving the question hanging in the air, Monokuma disappeared. What just happened? Monokuma said it's not broken, but it's an undeniable fact that it's not turning on. That's fine. Well, I don't see any connection to the case, so it doesn't matter for now. You think so? Either way, something about it still bothers me. broken -y handbook. Hmm. Maybe they broke their own and switched it out with Leon's. Interesting. <laughs> okay then, this should be enough to get things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed Chihiro. Hm. To be exact, not quite. Huh? Not quite. Quite. Hm. Certainly I want to reveal Chihiro's killer, but more precisely, <laughs> I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. Then you really think... You truly believe Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro? Don't make me repeat that. Absolutely. Myself. I have no doubt that Genocide Jack is the culprit in this case. I have a basis to believe that. I assure you Genocide Jack is one of us. Okay. Is there really proof? 
There's somewhere I'd like to take you. This will provide all the evidence you need. It's all clear. Evidence that Genocide Jack is the one who killed Chihiro. Evidence... Does something like that really... Hey, you too! Big trouble! Need your help! I don't have time to We're play busy. With you. Leave us alone. Because, I mean... But it's an emergency! Emergency! Come on, please! You gotta help me! Oh, yes, I get it's an emergency. Just tell us. Well... Something's wrong with Toko. She's acting super strange. Well, I mean, she was acting pretty strange earlier, right? What should we do, Biakia? Very strange. Since it's Toko, I admit... Blah. Since it's Toko, I admit I'm intrigued. I suppose we can take a second to see what's going on with her. Are you sure? Don't make me repeat myself. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Okay, come on, hurry! Wait for us, Hina. Let's go. Looks like she headed to the dorms. I think you're just too fast. <laughs> so what's the emergency? Well, after what happened in the girls' locker room, we left Toko in her room. After a while, we came back to check on her, you know, see how she was doing, but when we did, it was weird. She refused to come out, and she kept saying all this weird stuff. Weird stuff? That's fine. We should try talking to her ourselves. Yeah, good idea. I may as well give it a shot. The door swung open slowly and silently. Holy crap. An aura of negativity flowed out from behind the door, forcing a gasp out of me. What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that uh, Hina was really worried about you pulling yourself up in your room. Leave me alone. Um, yeah, sure thing. But could you open up just for a second? You won't allow it. Huh? What's going on here? You won't let Genocide Jack have control! And just like that, she slammed the door in my face. What was that? Hmm. She's been acting like that the whole time! When I rang a little while ago? Shh. I'll d drive out the killer to drive out the murderous fiend! It doesn't make any sense, right? I was afraid to leave her in there alone, so I tried to bust down her door. But it felt like something was holding it shut on the other side. I couldn't even budge it. Toko was scared enough to even bar her door? Does she think the same thing as Byakia? Does she think the serial killer Genocide Jack really murdered Chihiro? Is that why Toko's so scared? But... Whatever it is, I'm really worried about her. Isn't there anyone who might be able to persuade her? Uh, she likes you for some reason. Go persuade her. Hey, Biakia, you think you could ask her? To come out of her room, I mean? That's fine. Sure, whatever. Huh? You're gonna talk to her, Biakia? Well, I guess you can be nice when you want to. Biakia stood in front of her door, not making a sound, and pressed the doorbell. After a few moments... What do you want? Leave me alone! You're all so annoying! Uh, Byaki- ba Bacula? It's Byakuya. I'm sorry, I couldn't keep our promise. <laughs> but don't worry, never again. <laughs> I, I won't let Genocide Jack have control ever again. And with that, the door slammed shut. Even Byakia couldn't pull it off. <laughs> There's nothing else we can do. Let's get back to the investigation. Hold on! Hey Byakia, what was Toko talking about just now? Something about a promise? What? Oh, I have no idea. Another one of her delusions, I'm sure. But Stop if I say I don't know, that means I don't know. Just let Hina take care of her. Hmm. Oh yeah, okay, I'll stay here and keep an eye on her. Let's go. Well then, let's go. Without waiting for a reply, Byakia sped away. Byakia! And I hurried to catch up. He's just leading us all over the place. Okay. I tried to talk to him several times while we walked, but he didn't even look back. 
let alone say anything. He just kept walking towards his destination. A certain room. The library? <laughs> Come on, let's go in. All right, why are we here? I didn't... I meant to click on... Click on Biakia! Yes, this dumbass. Click on him. Um, is the evidence that provides it was... Proves it was Genocide Jack, really, in the library? Don't make me repeat myself. If I remember, on the other side of this door... It's the archive, right? Hurry up and go inside. Oh, here? Let's go. It's... It'll all make sense when you're inside. Okay. Whoa, there's so many books and files. And so much dust, too. So, in other words... I would say there's enough value in this place to endure the dust. Alright. Let's check here. There's so many files stuffed into the shelf. What's all these things? That's enough. Those documents are dangerous. Dangerous? They detail all the people who control the world from behind the scenes. Dangerous truth from a commoner. You mean, like, members of the Diet? Or something? Diet? <laughs> no, I mean the ones with real power. The secret council controlling everything from the shadows. If you're ready to be disappeared for it, take a look. There are some very interesting people in there. You're just kidding, right? <laughs> Am I? I'll just let it go for now. Let's look at this one. Uh-huh. It's a desk lamp. Oh yeah, it's the same one I saw Biakia using in the library before. What? Do you have a problem with that lamp? It was here before, then I moved it over there. It's too dark over there, so I thought I'd put it to good use. Sure, I'll take them on a coin. Uh, whoops, let's see. There's a wooden box, it's empty. Although judging by the smudges in the dust, it looks like there was something inside. I wonder what it was. There was an extension cord plugged in there. It proved very useful while it was in the library. An extension cord, huh? Isn't that what your hero's strung up with? There's a ton of thick files stuck under the bookshelf. <laughs> Those things are filled with graphic disturbing photos from all kinds of crime scenes. It's the kind of thing any normal person wouldn't even want to look at. Be careful. What do you mean? All those files are the investigation reports related to different cold cases. Those are internal documents for police eyes only. They're not the kind of thing you'd expect to leave. Oh? Hmm. So, are you finally beginning to understand the true splendor of this library? The entire reason I was interested in the library is because of this room right here. It's home to classified government documents, police records, and things no ordinary person would ever see. Isn't it magnificent? This can't be for real, right? Such That's your guy's problem. Anything that doesn't fit your preconceived reality, you label a lie. Well, it's not that. It's just, it's not like I totally refuse to believe it, but... I mean, there's just so much. How could anyone have put all this together? Hmm. I suppose it goes to show how much power Hope's Peak truly wields. Or perhaps, the Mastermind may have wanted to provide us with enough entertainment to keep us from getting bored. Um, it's no use. I can't keep up with this. It's just too unreal. <laughs> What's wrong? You still can't believe it. What about you? How can you believe it so easily? Things like that are usually impossible. What? What do you mean, usually? Usual, normal, ordinary, simple, those things don't exist anywhere in the real world. If you don't understand what they actually represent, you don't understand the nature of anything. You don't pull your punches, do you? <laughs> Besides, what you consider usual is based on your common sense, right? But what makes you think your own common sense applies to me at all? <laughs> the documents gathered here are genuine. I have reviewed them multiple times, so there's no doubt. <laughs> Hold on a second, you're saying you've read all the documents more than once? But all this has to be like top secret confidential stuff, right? So why- <laughs> My family has a reading room just like this at our home. Ours is bigger, of course, and not as dusty. 
Huh? Hmm. Members of the Togami family have access to any variety of government-related documents. That includes foreign powers as well as domestic. How is that possible? So in other words... I already told you, there's a secret council that controls the world from the shadows. <laughs> My family is a member of that council, and I have within me the bloodline that will allow me to one day bend the world to my will. <laughs> but to become such a ruler, I must know all levels of the world, backwards and forwards. So whatever I have time, I like to review whatever documents and materials that interest me. Which is why I can proclaim without a doubt that the materials gathered here are the real thing. This is beyond believing, or not believing. Byakia is actually starting to scare me more than the actual mastermind. Hmm. And what always interests me the most were the cold case police investigation reports. Reading through these reports have always been a hobby of mine ever since I was little. He likes true crime. I get it. I get it. It's excellent mental exercise. I've solved more than a few of those cases just by reviewing the reports. And among all those reports, one of my recent favorites is the Genocide Jeff case. As he talked, Byakia grabbed a specific file from the shelf. That's right. This is the complete case file. Every single report surrounding the Genocide Jack cases have been compiled in here. Hmm. Because there are so many, I allow me to quickly summarize the main points. To begin, there are two notable characteristics in every Genocide Jack murder. The, few, the first characteristic is that every crime scene the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. And the second is that when the victims are murdered, their bodies are suspended in a certain way. Bloodlust is written in blood and the victim's body is suspended. That's exactly the same as what happened to Chihiro. <laughs> Save your surprise, the best part is yet to come. Hmm. For the second characteristic, where the victims are suspended, the only ones we knew about that particular fact were members of the police and other higher-ups. By all accounts, nobody in the media ever found out. Huh? Hmm. In other words, no one on the news, no one online, nobody knew about that aspect of each crime. Only key officials, the killer himself, knew about the act of mounting the victims. Hmm. Now, if you recall Chihiro's corpse... Her body was most certainly mounted in this fashion. So how could the killer have known about suspending the victim? That's, right. That's the key question. But in fact, the answer is quite simple. So in other the words... The culprit isn't a copycat killer. It's the real genocide jack. In other words... That's right. That right there is the evidence that genocide jack has hidden himself among the rest of us. Then Genocide Jack really is? Such a brutal, fiendish killer really is walking among us? <laughs> interesting. Things are really starting to get interesting, aren't they? I never imagined a killer with such a reputation would ever become part of our little game. Now, don't you think it would be good for you to take a look at what I've already seen? You might just manage to ferret out a clue or two. Such if you get down on your knees and beg, I might even show you myself. Feel free to look at it in here, but you can't take it with you. Byakia handed me the file and I flipped through it with tense, nervous fingers. Suddenly my hand stopped, and I reached the page where the photos from the scene of each crime had been collected. Ugh. The names of Genocide Jack's victims ran for several pages. Ken Harada, 32. Tetsuhiro Honda, 17. Shoji Gaku, 23. Kano Issei, 14. Takashi Yoshida, 30. Komatsu Taro, oh my god, all these names. Uh, Takifumi Gono, Uchida Nashiro, Takeshi Masamune, Yuto Yumehima. There are. There was no end to it. But one thing became perfectly clear as I read. All of the killer's countless victims were killed and suspended in accurate in exactly the same way. Where blood blast was left. So they were suspended with scissors, and all of these are men. Genocide Jack killed all men. Hmm. 
Now take a look at the next page and you'll find another interesting tidbit. The next page. Profiling results. All of the crimes took place either on weekdays, at night, or during holidays, either day or night. The most common time for the killing to take place was on a holiday in the afternoon. Based on these facts, it could be suggested that the suspect may be a student. Evidence suggests that the suspect lingered at the scene, but when they did leave, they were in a panic. Because an eyewitness has never come forward, it's unlikely there was any external reason for this. This confused behavior suggests that the suspect may potentially suffer from disassociative identity disorder. Okay. So in other words... The key point here is that the culprit may well have a split personality. A split personality? Like the kind of thing you see on TV? So I'm part of another totally unbelievable story. But this one is way more unbelievable than anything else up until now. Or maybe it really is. I don't know. Okay. Let's go. All right. We should get going soon. Where are we going? <clears throat> Anywhere but here. We finished our business here, haven't we? Bakia? Where are we going now? As usual, Bakia turned and left without another word. I hurried after him. Well, this is where we part ways. I have some things I need to take care of before the class trial. Huh? Just all of a sudden like that? I don't have time to Come on, you. enough of your annoying mishap mis appreciation Miss Apprentice That word. None of your annoying that word. Did you really think we'd be together the whole time? Take responsibility for yourself and do something useful. Move the investigation forward on your own. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. And just like that, he was gone. Just as quickly he'd asked me to join him, he'd cut me off. In the end, I felt like I was just some plaything. Genocide Jack. He's one that killed Chihiro. I have to go back to the crime scene. The girl's locker room. And she checked the boy's locker room, too. And the others might have come up with some info. Uh, okay. Say Hafumi. Da -da 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 -da! Hifumi had discovered evidence revealing the identity of the cop. I feel it. Another if... stat increase for me. Evidence, what did you find? Mm -hmm. I cannot reveal that just yet. That's it. But I guarantee sure that what it. I found will steal the killer's breath from his lungs. Are you sure about that? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Miss mm -hmm. Ludenberg mm -hmm. said she witnessed something worthwhile too. What did she see? Well, it would She pursues seem... to tell me. It's like when a girl bullies the boy she likes, right? Right? Okay, so we're Celestia. Mm. Mm. Warehouse mm. by the door. Mm. Ah, well, we're gonna check the boys' locker room and the girls' locker room first, and then we'll go to the warehouse. I don't remember seeing this stain before. There's a strange stain on the carpet. What is it? Boys locker room carpet has been added to the truth bullet section. Okay. Wait a second. This was... No. This was the girl in the bikini. Huh. This poster is a popular boy band called Tornado. Somehow it doesn't quite seem to fit the boys locker room. Is this the true scene of the crime? I think it is. I think the boys locker room is the true scene of the crime. <gasps> Ooh. All right. It's the blood sand poster. The blood is the mo but the big breasted swimsuit model is pretty noticeable too. The girls locker room doesn't seem like the kind of place you'd find something like this. Oh, but wait, that reminds me the poster in the other locker room is definitely something strange about this. The boys locker room, there's a poster of a popular boy band. In the girls locker room, there's a poster of a big breasted swimsuit model. Could the posters have been switched? But if they were, why? What's the reason? Maybe I should talk to someone who knows a little more about the locker room. You spend a lot of times exercising in here, right? Of course. I used it nearly every day since it opened up. Sometimes Hina and I used it together. Okay, then let me ask you something. 
Do you think the posters in the boys and girls locker rooms could have been switched? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't really say. I've never paid any attention to the posters. I see. However... But there is something that's been bothering me about the locker rooms. You see, I like to drink a little protein coffee every time I finish exercising. We have protein coffee? Mm. In the warehouse. It's not the highest quality, but I don't have a lot of other options. I mix protein powder with coffee and down the glass of it after exercising. Anyway, the other day I spilled some of it on the carpet in the girls' locker room, and it left a stain. A stain? But I don't see any stain on the carpet now. Of course. Exactly. I noticed it earlier. The stain has disappeared. I can only assume someone came along and cleaned it up. But still, it is unusually clean, as if there was never a stain here to begin with. Okay. Say? Hey Kyoko, have you made any progress on your investigation? Indeed. Generally speaking. However... But I have to get going. I have something unrelated to take care of. Something besides the investigation. What is it? Well... Nothing you need to worry about. Just concentrate on the murder. But... So then... Before I go, let me give you one piece of advice. You should examine Chihiro's body one more time. Thoroughly. Also, her handbook is missing. You might want to determine its whereabouts. Goodbye. That's it. I'll be praying for your success. With that, Kyoko turned and left the girl's locker room. I guess it'll take another look at the body then. Chihiro's handbook is missing. Okay, let's take a look at her body again. Alright, I know she said thoroughly, but do I have... Well, I better give it a shot anyway. Let's see. Shihiro's hands are bound with what looks like some kind of rope. The rope was used to prop her up in a kind of crucifix position. Huh? The rope has a plug. It's an extension cord. Okay. Wait, so then this isn't a rope at all. And the more I think about it, the more that's not the only thing that concerns me. Chihiro's fatal injury was a blow to the head. Which means someone struck her in the head in order to kill her. That's right. There's the issue of her being suspended and the fatal blow. At first, I didn't see any reason to think too much about it earlier. But seeing them again after looking through the Genocide Jack file, something's not quite right. Exactly! What does this all mean? Status of dead body. Well, one thing most likely to tie these mysteries together is the true nature of the rope that was used to suspend Chihiro. And to figure out, there's a certain place I need to revisit and look over again. Oh. Huh? It's gone! Did someone take it out of the archive? But the only one who knew would do something like that. I can't think of anyone ba but Byakia. Yeah. Right. Guess not. Lamp won't turn on. Oh, I see. It's not plugged in. The lamp's cord isn't long enough to reach the outlet from here. But last time I saw it, it was definitely on, and it was definitely right here. Byakia was using the extension cord. Well, there's no extension cord here now. I wonder if... Aha! How's Toko doing? Same as, same as before, she won't come out and she keeps talking about Genocide Jack. So I just left her there. You left her? My head was all swimmy and I was getting pretty hungry. Yeah. Oh, but don't worry. I'm going to head back soon as I'm done eating. Toka's not exactly pleasant, but I'm still worried about her. Speaking of which, what are you eating? Huh? A donut, of course. Of course. <sighs> There's two things I'm sure God created. Outer space and donuts. Really? Hmm. I bet Chihiro would have liked to eat more donuts. Maybe that was her one big regret. Aww. Aww, I should have tried to spend more time with her. Come to think of it, who did she spend time with? Well... Yeah, she was a little unstrange, but didn't she hang out with the other girls much? It was like she was trying to keep her distance from us. 
Actually, Sakura did mention something similar. She said that even though you and her invited Chihiro to exercise with you, she always refused. Yeah, totally. Yup, it's true, and it wasn't just us either. It was like she stayed away from all the girls. Was she just shy? Mm. I don't know, she talked to the boys all the time. Isn't it kind of weird to ju just be shy around your own sex, but totally fine with the opposite sex? Uh. Oh wait, maybe maybe she was used to guys spoiling her. The law says you can't judge a book by its cover, right? You think so? I never really saw that. Okay. Celeste, what are you doing here? <laughs> this warehouse is amazing. It has absolutely everything my one might leave. Ugh. It has absolutely everything one might need to live a full life here. From food to clothes to towels, here is an endless supply to choose from. I see that. Why have I? Have you found anything related to the case? Most I knew you were going to ask me that. I thought talking about the warehouse itself might misdirect you, but I see it was pointless. Then you did find something. <laughs> Very well, I will tell you and only you. Actually. Last night I, s I saw her here. Chihiro was in the warehouse. What? Really? Indeed. This was right before nighttime. Hmm? What are you doing out this late? Oh, um, I was just... Are you planning to go exercise, perhaps? What? How did you know? Because I can see a blue track jacket sticking out of that duffel bag you're carrying. Oh, you're right. Thanks. Well, I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. <sighs> she stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. Yes, indeed. I assumed she was merely stocking up to go exercise in the morning, but it would appear she ignored the nighttime rule and headed directly to the girls' locker room. If she hadn't broken our rule, none of this would have ever happened. <laughs> you get what you deserve, I suppose. So apparently she went to the girls' locker room late at night in order to exercise without anyone knowing. But the strange thing is, there was no trace of the track jacket or duffel bag Celeste said she saw during Chihiro's Chihiro carry. Which would mean the killer would have gotten rid of it somehow. Celeste's account has been added to the truth bullet. Oh? Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? It's the moment you've all been waiting for! The class trial! You remember where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! Begin the class trial or... It's about to begin. The red door is right through here. All right, I'm going to end that. Next episode will be class trial. Or I might split it into two again. Who knows? So, uh, poor Chihiro, she has passed away. I really liked her. But we shall see what happened in the next time. So thank you all so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content just like this. I really do appreciate you all sticking with this because I enjoy this game. And I know a few, at least a few of you do. So thank you all again. I'll see you all next time. Bye!